Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple pear tree and I'm thinking about turning this into a series so we can improve upon our code and add nice little features here and there but I don't know, let me know what you guys think without further ado, let's jump right into it eh? here we are in a brand new Unity project we will begin by creating a canvas with a button in it then let's change the name of the canvas and create an empty game object now let's move the button to a better position on the screen and change its text as well as uh, the width to fit the screen a little bit better. Now add an image to your empty game object called perk tree and change this as you wish. It will act as a background for your perk tree. I'm just gonna pick this color because yeah, it just looks good. Now we create a button inside our perk tree and call it something like plus speed. Now we resize it and move it to the bottom of the screen so it looks a bit better. Duplicate the button and rename it plus HP. Now let's move it somewhere nice and then duplicate it one more time and move the duplicated game object after that we change the bottom text this is just something really generic you may change this as you see fit I'm just doing plus move speed plus HP and plus plus mana points you can change this as you see fit and that is it for the UI now let's get coding Let's select all perk buttons and add a new script called perk behavior. Then add a new script to our canvas called perk tree behavior. Here we are in Microsoft Studio. First things first, we need to set up some variables. Create a private bool called perk tree bool and set it to false by, def by default. Uh, this bool will act as a toggle to enable and disable the perk tree. Now create an int variable to store the amount of points you have to spend on perks. We need a public game object variable that will be your perk tree. We also need to link up our three different perks, plus movement speed, plus hit points, and plus mana points. Let's get rid of the start since we won't be using it in here. In your update, we will create a toggle to enable and disable your perk tree. So, input that get key down, key code that. This is up to you. For me, I will set it to tab. So, whenever you press tab, it will open or close the perk tree. Create a new function and call it perk tree. This function will contain only one line of code and you might ask why make a new function for one line of code? The answer is so you can call this function using the Unity UI. I will show you in a second. Go back to your update and let's enable the perk tree. So if perk tree bool, which we are setting down here, um, is true, we enable our perk tree object. else let's copy paste this and just change it to false so if per tree bool is true we enable our per tree game object and if it's false we disable it and that is our per tree behavior script very simple stuff oh i forgot this needs to be public so we can access it with the unity ui sorry about that Back in Unity, we can see we have a few things to set up. For now, we will only set up our perk tree object to our perk tree that contains that background image we set up earlier. Now, if we go to the button we created first and click the plus down here, then we drag our perk canvas object and set the function to our perk tree function 
we should be good. Hit play and let's test this real quick. So if we hit this button we create it and uh, it will show our portrait. Press it again and it will hide it. Now if we press tab it will do the same. So the toggle is working pretty nicely. Back in Microsoft Studio, we will start our perk behavior script. Create a public enum and call it perks. This will contain your many different perks. I will add the few we created earlier. Now we need to be able to set this perk from the public enum above. We also need to be able to access our perk tree script we created earlier. So public perk tree behavior, and let's just call it tree for simplicity's sake. Create a bool to check if this perk has been leveled up. Um, actually, let's call it something like this. Let's set some private variables. This will be the required perk. Uh, now we need a visual representation when you have actually gotten this perk. So we will use a new game object or let's just do text instead, much simpler. Oh, I need to set this up here and we should be good then. Yep, that's it for variables. Let's move down here. We are not gonna need this update, so let's remove it. Clear this up for no good reason. <laughs> now let's set some variables. This is the text we're linking it up to. And now we set up the require perk. So down here, um, first we need to check what perk this is. Since movement perk is the first one and it does not require any other perk, we are not gonna set it for it. Let's do plus HP. Require perk equals three dot. And you might remember these variables we created on our perk tree behavior over here. So plus HP requires the plus movement speed perk. Now we copy and paste this and just change it to mana points and require perk is also movement speed. So we should be good there. Let's go down here and create a new function. Call it rank up. So if tree that perk points is higher than zero, so if we have points, then we continue. Now, if this perk is equals to plus movement speed, which is the only one that has no required perk, we first remove a perk point from our perk tree script. Then we set this perks bool to true. And we also change the visuals. So in this case is the text. Cool. Now else if The required perk is purchase. We can just copy and paste this real quick and we should be good. Let's create the functions that will affect your gameplay. So 
private void plus movement speed let's duplicate this and change their names now up here the only perk that requires no other perk we run this function down here however we need to check what perk this script is and then we run its proper function Now under your functions, I don't know how to implement this, it is different for every game, it's all up to what you want these perks to do. So for the sake of seeing them work, we will add a debug message. Oh, I forgot, up here we also need to check if this has been purchased or not. And that should be it. All we need to do now is go to our inspector window and set this up. Let's give us two perk points for testing purposes and under our perk behavior make sure the right perk is selected. Grab all your perk behaviors then drag your perk tree into your tree variable. Then for each button you must drag your perk behavior onto the onclick event window then select your rank up function. Click play and let's try this out. The toggle is working well and boom you have purchased this perk. You can also see your points gone down after you purchase a perk. Try to purchase a third one but we can't because we have no points. Let's add one point real quick and boom it's all working as intended. Very nice, well done guys. Uh, that's it for this tutorial guys, I will be making more Unity 3D tutorials in the future so stay tuned for that. And also some of you guys have asked me about my current project, Iron Jaw Taverns. This one right here. And um, I'm going to upload a new devlog sometime this week so stay tuned for that. Subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.